The drama involving Ryu jun Yol, Han Sohee, and Hye Ri has been one of the most shocking things that the public has been faced with in recent times. Accusations of cheating and two-timing were running wild, with both jun Yol and Sohee being blamed for hurting Hye Ri. But what if we told you everything was just a big misunderstanding and that the whole situation is not as bad as the media made it seem to be? The whole mess started when a Japanese tourist made a post about spotting two popular Korean actors hanging at a hotel pool in Hawaii and tagged it with Reply 1988 and Nevertheless less, which are jun Yol's and Sohee's respective dramas. Even though the original poster didn't attach a picture and deleted the post right after, it wasn't hard for netizens to connect the dots and figure out who the post was referring to. While the possibility of jun Yol and Sohee dating would have been normal in any other circumstance, it had only been a few months since he had broken up with Hye Ri after a seven-year-old relationship. In fact, they had been one of the most beloved couples in the industry and after so many years of them being together, there were even hopes that they would get married. So, so, for the media to report that he had started dating Sohee shortly after the breakup was shocking. The issue was dragged on for days. Hye Ri posted an Instagram story shading her ex-boyfriend, which Sohee responded to by clapping back at Hye Ri. Then she tried to give her own account of what had happened through comments on her blog, but people didn't quite believe her as this snowballed into a bigger problem for everyone involved. At this point, even though representatives from Hye Ri's agency had stated that she had no intentions of responding to the incident, Hye Ri proved them otherwise as she addressed everything just a bit later. She went on her social media to clarify that she and Junyol hadn't impulsively broken up. According to her, they had actually discussed giving their relationship a second shot after the breakup news was released. Yeri went on to say that they stopped talking to each other after that conversation and four months later, she saw the news of Junyol and Sohee dating. She took it so personally and reacted without thinking. As for the reason she didn't speak out about this sooner, Yeri said that she felt her conversations with Junyol were too private. In the end, she apologized for the fuss her Instagram story caused, admitting she didn't foresee the consequences of her actions no matter how small they seemed, and promised to be more careful in the future. With this statement, people were even more set on supporting Hye Ri. Even though they thought she had acted rashly, they also understood why she would do so. She was in a relationship for seven years, then the guy allegedly ghosts her as they're trying to work things out and four months later he's dating someone else. Everyone would probably be pissed and act on impulse so netizens couldn't blame Hye Ri for it. But the thing is that jun Yol perceived the situation differently, and it seems like it wasn't all just his fault of quote-unquote ghosting Hye Ri. Hye Ri's statement made everything even more confusing. Before she had made the post, Sohee had briefly mentioned on her blog that she learned about their breakup from an article last June. She also previously commented that she thought jun Yol and Hye Ri split up around the beginning of 2023. So if Hye Ri claimed they split in November, why would Sohee suggest they broke up in June? Was jun Yol leading Hye Ri on? and keeping her as a backup option but then gave up on the pretenses after he met Sohee? Did he give Sohee a fake timeline of their relationship so she could be convinced that his relationship with Hye Ri was over? At this point, the possibilities were endless and despite not knowing anything, the public were running wild with rumors and assumptions. Most of them blamed jun Yol and claimed that it was unfair that both Hye Ri and Sohee were getting hate and running around to explain things when jun Yol was staying silent and letting them get hate. However, it turns out that even though the public thought that they knew everything about this whole issue, they were wrong about all of it. On March 20th, a supposed acquaintance of the former couple came out with a statement and revealed that everyone got the timeline wrong and were wrongly accusing both jun Yol and Sohee. According to the acquaintance who spoke to TV Daily, Hye Ri and jun Yol supposedly met only once in 2023. They delayed announcing the breakup and agreed to take time to consider it in February of that year. The source also said they decided to take a break, which basically meant that they broke up. Hye Ri was also away filming her movie Victory and Gyoje, which just helped them grow apart. By June, people had apparently already started whispering about their breakup, and when jun Yol didn't show up for Hye Ri's birthday, rumors about their split spread even more. But mind you, during this whole time, Hye Ri didn't contact jun Yol and vice versa, so it's not really fair to say that he ghosted her when they agreed on taking a break, and then neither party made any attempts to reignite the spark in their relationship. According to this acquaintance, the talks of their breakup reached their peak in July, and August 2023. They claimed that both of their agencies had denied the rumors, but nothing could stop people from talking. The source then went on to say that the two delayed giving a clear answer to the public, which is normal and even expected since they had been in such a long-term relationship. After all, it was difficult for them to admit the breakup publicly since they had been dating for more than seven years. The source also confirmed what Hye Ri had said, but also said that jun Yol wasn't to blame either. They 
said that the breakup wasn't one-sided since they had met once in 2023 and had already gone apart at that point. The source goes on to say, wouldn't Hieri have known that when he said, let's talk about it more? It was just a formality. It's too much to guess that it was a transit love. In the end, the report concluded by saying that Hieri should have understood that the breakup was not a big deal and the public should move on from the issue. The insider, as well as the writer of the article, then asked not to blame Junyul anymore. The acquaintance's timeline, if real, answered every question that the public and everyone had about the relationship. No, so he wasn't lying about hearing about the breakup in June. It's possible that she heard about it from colleagues and acquaintances, but thought she had read it in an article. She faced intense pressure, with everyone blaming her for being a rebound and intentionally getting involved with Junyul while knowing he was dating Hieri. And no, Junyul wasn't two-timing the women. It was just miscommunication and misunderstanding between him and Hieri, who, as we said, hasn't contacted him either in months. He thought they had put an end to their relationship, mutually agreeing to spend time apart, while Hieri thought that they were on a break. It was a simple miscommunication, not Jun Yol being a cheater like everyone was claiming. However, even when this report came out, people weren't very convinced. It looks like they think that both Sohee and Jun Yol are paying the media to paint a better picture of them. They said the same thing when the dispatch reported about Sohee and Jun Yol's time in Hawaii. In a report released on March 17th, dispatch stated that they went to Hawaii after hearing rumors about the two. While there, they saw Sohee constantly looking at her phone with Jun Yol beside her. They also confirmed the timeline of the relationship relationship between Hieri and Junyol and Sohi and Junyol. The former couple had grown distant by June of 2023, which was only proven by his absence at Hieri's birthday party. However, they didn't break up at the time, but weren't talking, and in November, they officially broke up. Then, on November 15th, Junyol and Sohi met for the first time at a photo exhibition, and even though there wasn't anything between them at first, they ended up falling for each other over their love of art. This is why they took the rumors and the speculations about them very hard, and it completely ruined their mood. Dispatch suggested that Junyol likely felt a mix of emotions, anger, sadness, and a sense of injustice while Sohi was just upset, which is why she probably couldn't let go of her phone. Dispatch has a history of not only revealing Dealing celebrity relationships, but also covering other scandals. When it comes to Sohee, though, people think that it was weird how the outlet never reported on Hieri and Junyol, but they traveled to Hawaii just to follow him and Sohee around. Netizens have also said that the pictures look very staged, and those that were controversial or unflattering were deleted. A commenter pointed out that a picture of Sohee visiting a controversial online community was deleted, then uploaded with the screen blurred out, and a picture in which Junyol didn't look his best was was also removed. Not only that, but netizens found links between Sohi and Dispatch, as well as alleged proof that Dispatch is going the extra length to protect Sohi's reputation. A post titled Han Sohi seems to have a lot of ties to Dispatch gained popularity on online communities on March 21st. The post contained evidence that hinted towards Sohi's alleged connections with Dispatch. Turns out that Sohi is the only celebrity that Dispatch sent a coffee truck to so they could show support as she was shooting my name. The poster also pointed pointed out an interesting fact. The dispatch reporter who took the pictures of the couple also took the pictures from Sohee's dispatch photo shoot, and he had already written a lot of positive articles about Sohee. It was also suspicious that the reporter found them the same day he traveled to Hawaii and took a picture of them facing the camera. A netizen commented, I'm wondering why the article was written so nicely and that those photos look like concept photos. Going on to say that when dispatch releases pictures like this, they're usually taken by cell phone. As for the article, netizens also found inconsistencies between Dispatch's timeline and what allegedly happened. According to Dispatch, Junyol didn't attend Hieri's birthday party, which made the outlets claim that the couple had broken up before November. It seems like in reality there was no birthday party to attend because Hieri was busy filming last year. The netizens also said that there wasn't a Dispatch article about Sohee, as she claimed. In fact, that Dispatch article never existed and just showed up recently, which makes the whole thing even more suspicious. The netizens then blamed Dispatch for ruining Hieri's reputation with the public, writing, Not only are they fabricating events that never existed, they even tried to paint Hieri into this delusional and crazy ex who has lingering feelings. Due to everything that netizens have discovered, it's hard for them to believe the alleged insider's story about how the couple have been having a rough patch since the beginning of last year. In fact, they're siding even more with Hieri now and claiming that Junyol and Sohee are hiding behind the media play reports instead of clarifying everything on their own. However, all three, Junyol, Hieri, and Sohee, confirm that there was no foul play going 
going on. Junyul had broken up with Yeri and then started dating Sohi. While there are conflicting testimonies on the timeline of these events, it's better that we just believe the people speaking up about this and leave the parties involved alone. It's kind of crazy that everyone is acting like they are third wheeling on the relationship and are attacking people they don't know based on their own assumptions.